Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here for Apple Insider. Steam Link has been around a while and it allows you to use a powerful host machine to play your games on a different device like a Mac or another PC. Well, now it's being updated to work on mobile devices and Apple TVs. It is extremely handy to take a super powerful desktop game and play those on your iPhone, maybe even your iPad, whether it's the small ones or the larger ones, and of course even the Apple TV. It's extremely powerful and pretty awesome. Of course, it only works in your home and your host computer must be connected to either 5 GHz Wi-Fi or through Ethernet, as well as the device that you're actually going to be playing on. You can use a variety of different controllers as well, including a Steam controller or any MFI controller. The actual controller is connected to the device you're playing on. So if I want to play Team Fortress 2 in my living room, I can just connect my Steam controller over Bluetooth to my Apple TV and play away. Valve says it can stream games at 4K at 60 frames a second. And while we noticed a few lags here and there, it actually did a remarkable job of keeping up with that promise. The actual host application is pretty simple. When you launch it, it'll go through a few setup prompts, making you connect to your actual computer, making sure a controller is connected, and letting you know your computer's connection. You can go into settings and view a little bit more details like the computers and other computers that might be around, your controller settings, and making sure one is actually paired, as well as into streaming settings, allowing you to change the streaming quality, whether you're looking for just keeping everything fast, nice and balanced, or you want those graphics to be beautiful. There's a few other advanced options in there as well. Once everything is connected, you can go ahead and launch. Now, technically you don't need a controller, though it pretty much makes the experience if you have one. There are a few UI controls that you can use through touch if that's really what you want to do. Pairing to your computer is pretty straightforward as well. Simply launch the application, choose your computer on the network, which should automatically show up as long as it's running the latest version of Steam, enter in your quick little pairing code, and then it'll run a network connection test. Again, both devices have to be either connected through Ethernet or 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Once it verifies your connection is fast enough to actually stream, you're good to go. You then essentially get a live stream of what's on your computer screen. So by default, it just takes you right into Steam. Though if another application happens to pop up, that's what you're going to see on your iOS or your TV. Now some games like Team Fortress 2, they work better with a keyboard. And it's a little bit awkward, but they still work with a controller. A lot of times I had to just start the game right on my Mac and then continue playing with the Steam controller on my Apple TV or my iPad or even my iPhone. Playing on the iPhone was a surprisingly fun experience. It was pretty impressive to see these powerful console or computer games running on such a tiny screen. I did feel a little bit old from time to time as I had to squint to see what was exactly going on, but choosing the right game, this is definitely a playable experience. Between the Apple TV and the iPad though, I think the iPad ended up being our favorite device to game on. Now while we spent plenty of time playing, you know, for science purposes, we did run into a few different hiccups. Occasionally our controller would seem to lose connection. It was connected and the video stream was going through, but our controller wasn't actually controlling our character or our vehicle. This was pretty easily remedied though by simply quitting Steam on the Mac and reopening it. Of course, we wouldn't want to have to do that all the time, and luckily it only seemed to do it like the first time we tried to connect. Then, once we quit and reopened, it was no longer a problem. Here's an actual screen recording of playing Rocket League on my 12.9 inch iPad Pro. It works remarkably smooth. A few times we noticed a little bit of lag here and there, but overall the experience went pretty well, aside from the actual issues when our devices were to me, not wanting to communicate to one another, once that was resolved, it was pretty smooth and very enjoyable to play. There are definitely going to be times that we're still going to want to play games just on our Mac. It's simply going to be better, but there's a lot of the times where it's really fun to be able to throw those games up onto your big screen TV in 4K and play them in the living room. After all, Steam Link is free, and it works with the existing games that you've already got, and you don't have to buy the additional Steam Link hardware that they previously were selling. So now you can just simply install an application on your iPhone, iPad, Apple TV, and play any of those games anywhere in your home using controllers that you may already have. The new Steam Link application will initially launch in beta, and I want to hear what you guys think about this down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.